Hi guys, my name's Kelsey. Hi guys, my name is Becky. And we are the Story Girls, and we're back with another dollar store challenge. We haven't done one of these in a while, so it's well overdue. But today we have an exciting challenge because it's almost February, which means it's almost Valentine's Day. So today we're in the dollar store and we're doing it with a twist. The rules this time is that you must use something from the Valentine's Day aisle. The Feb 14 aisle, the red and pink aisle, the glittery aisle. So we're gonna have to pick something from there and it doesn't have to be Valentine's Day related. We just need something from that aisle that has to be incorporated into our DIY. Kelsey's in another aisle. We're scoping out stuff and we're gonna see who can make the coolest thing. So I'm going to get looking around, see if I can be inspired at the dollar store today. Oh, these are actually really cute. Little felt things. Oh my God, I need this. Sorry. These are cute. They're little like ice cube trays, but you could use them as a mold or something. Hmm. I just want to say like no to all of this glittery plasticky stuff. Like if you put this up in your house, I have questions for you. Oh, okay, this is kind of cute. Oh my goodness, this house is having a rager of a party. Where's my invite? What's up? Okay, I think I need to head to the rest of the store to get other ideas of other things in here that I can work with as well, because too much Valentine's Day is clogging my brain creative process. Can we just take in that there's this Easter section in the middle of the Valentine's Day section? <laughs> Identity crisis much. So one challenge might be trying to find a Valentine's Day item that isn't candy. Actually, we have a lot of options here, but a lot of it is candy. But when I saw like the suckers and stuff, the first thing I thought of was melting it down to create like a stained glass. Kind of weird, kind of cool, could work, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what it is about all the felt here, but it is just vibing with me. This looks like stuff you could buy at Michael's. Really cute. No. I know that Valentine's Day is like a Hallmark day anyways, but who decided that's gonna be red and pink? Like, just wondering where that came from. Who decided those colors? Little hedgehog is stuck on you. This is so interesting. Scented modeling dough. What the frick? Ooh, bamboo is super trendy right now. Hmm. I maybe have an idea. Okay, I have three fabric options that I can go with and I don't know which one I wanna use. We've got the stripey that kind of goes very beachy. We have this like linen gray that kind of goes sort of like Scandinavian. And we've got this kind of like stripey blue and white bath mat that also goes beachy, but a different type of beachy, less nautical, more like beach beach. And I don't know. Okay, I think finding my Valentine's Day item will really help with this. I don't want it to be like I just throw a heart on it because I have to, like I want it to be nice and kind of smart, you know? I'm sorry, little buddy, but you're gonna have to come with me. So for the record, I would buy this, but I have something like it at the office. So I just wanna let you guys know that I'm inspired by this beach mat, but I'm not gonna pick it up. But if we really want to, we can include this in my price, which is two fifty. Okay, we are back in the dollar store. We both picked up a bunch of interesting things. So I'm gonna start by DIYing with my items first. So what I picked up is this gray apron and it was about $3. This is like a trellis for plants to grow up and it's bamboo and it was $3.50 for two, which is great because I actually need two. And for my Valentine's Day item, I got this pack of little chalkboard hearts for $1.50. So my plan with all of these is to actually make a really cute bamboo magazine rack because I realized that the little like grid pattern of the bamboo will like fit together nicely to make a little V-shaped rack. And then I'm gonna use the apron as like a liner for it. So first steps are going to be open this up and trim down the bottom so that they're all even. So I have the long pieces cut off the bottom of my trellises. Trelli. And now I'm gonna assemble them. So essentially the bottoms are just gonna like intertwine, like folded fingers and go like this. And the good thing is I can actually use two of the off cut pieces as side pieces to help it stay open. So I need to tie this all together somehow. And luckily, I was thinking about this, my little chalkboard hearts came with little pieces of cord on them. So I think I could take these apart and probably use those to help tie this all together. Everything is fine. This DIY is easy. <laughs> it's pretty easy. 
So that was extremely easy and essentially the bones of my magazine rack are done. It's funny because it actually kind of looks like bones. <laughs> but you could entirely stop here if you wanted to, but what I want to do is make a nice little liner for it so it hides all your magazines. If you don't own only Kinfolk magazines, <laughs> so I have this apron that I'm gonna cut a little sheet to go in it and then I think <laughs> and then I can use the little strappy on the top to actually make little ties to hold it in here as well Okay, so my little liner is in and that was extremely easy to do. I just, I tied them on to the little gaps in the top using the little ties we made. My very last step is gonna to be to incorporate this Valentine's Day decor even further. So I have one of these little chalkboard tags and I'm gonna write, get your read on as a little reminder. Maybe it's your goal this new year in 2019 to read more. This little tag is gonna help you remember. So I'm gonna write some cute text on it and tie it onto the magazine. We'll tie it onto the magazine. Why can't I say magazine? I'm gonna write some cute text on it. We'll tie it onto the magazine rack and then it will be complete. I love how this turned out. It was actually, you know, one of my more clever dollar store challenge thoughts. I think sometimes I don't know. I get in the store and I blank and it's so hard, but I'm excited to see what Kelsey comes up with because I saw what was in her shopping cart. Girl, I'm confused. So from the dollar store, I picked up this trash bin. It was $4. And I also, from the Valentine's Day aisle, got this little guy who is not going to be a monkey for much longer. I am sorry. And he was also $4, which is a little bit expensive. This is the dollar store, right? It's the dollars store. Um, and then also while I was there, I checked out this bamboo beach mat and I was about to get it. But then I was like, we have something at the office that's like basically the same thing. So I'm not gonna buy this beach mat from the dollar store if we already have it. We have this like, I think it's like wallpaper, but it is the same like bamboo straw. Oh, lighting just changed? Mm -hmm. One of those days. So my plan today is to actually make a stool or like a footstool and then have this little guy become a cushion for the top. So my first step is to actually cover the outside of this. I was thinking that I could spray paint it, but I did want it to not look like a trash can anymore. So that's why I am going to use the bamboo straw wallpaper. To apply this wallpaper, I just put down some hot glue and then wrapped up the can. I trimmed the tops and the bottoms. And then along the top, I cut little slits all the way around since it is a circle and then put down some hot glue and then folded the little tabs in. So now I have my trash can covered and honestly, this trash can just got a huge makeover. It's really cute, even just for a trash can. But we are making it a stool, so it's gonna go this way. And my next step is to make the top cushion. So. I don't know if you guys saw this coming, but he's gonna be my cushion. So I went in on my monkey with an X-Acto knife. I'm just trying to make as much of the fur fabric as possible. And I'm also taking out the stuffing for my little seat cushion. So after taking out the stuffing, taking off the arms and the hands and the feet and the face, I kind of have a flat piece of fabric. Kind of looks like a rug of an animal. This is so gross, I'm so sorry guys. I didn't mean for it to be this way. This furry fabric is going to make up the top of my cushion, but I'm also going to use some extra fabric that we had here at the office to make the base of the cushion. So I'm tracing the top of my stool and cutting out two circles as well as a long strip out of this white fabric. And then I'm just pinning my long strip around the circle and sewing it up. And then now I have to make the top part of my cushion with the fur fabric. So I'm gluing on chunks of the fur to my other white circle. And luckily fur is very forgiving. You can't really see any of the seams. I mean the fur is kind of going different directions, but I think it looks fine. So I glued down all of my fur so it's completely covered and cut off any excess. And now my last step, I just realized that I'm gonna have to sew through glue. Hopefully that's not an issue. My next step is to attach my furry top to my cushion, stuff it, and then I'm done. And then lastly, to attach my cushion, I glued it to the top of my stool just so everything stayed in place. And this is what my final stool looks like. This is from the dollar store. It don't look like it. I think I did a pretty good job, if you ask me.
you guys like those dollar store DIYs, I think we did a pretty good job. I'm pretty impressed. And I also realized after we finished and we saw each other's DIYs that we kind of did like a Bali-esque light wood rattan vibe. Oops, sorry, not sorry. I love it. I feel like it was kind of inspired by your trip. Check out the vlog channel. And it worked in the living room. Yes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future dollars or DIYs because we like doing this one. It's fun. Before you go though, can you let us know in the comments below if there's any themes that you want to see or like what you want us to do next time we do this challenge because it's helpful. Yeah. Last We went to go check the last video of like what you guys want to see and then we realized that there weren't really any. Yeah, so I actually went to Instagram and asked you guys for a theme there because Instagram team is very helpful, so and follow that, us. That's where we were inspired by the Valentine's Day yeah. little add-on. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you give it a like. And if you love it, make sure you sub it. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Hi guys, welcome to the end screen. I just wanna give this awesome DIY a shout out. This person recreated our speckled pottery into bowls and it looks like they even made little name tags for their plants. So adorable. Make sure you share your photos and your DIY recreations with us on Instagram for a chance to be featured.